hello everybody uh, just picked this up in the uh, got this in the mail there today it's a AR6100 uh, it's got the spectrum label on it it's a uh, version 1.6 uh, DSM 2 2.4 technologies one little thing though uh, I noticed made in China I'm pretty sure spectrum makes all their uh, components uh, in Taiwan so I've been reading some forms and whatnot and it uh, <clears throat> seems like these are either factory seconds or counterfeit uh, <laughs> whatever you want to call it but it was $25 shipped to Canada and took exactly three weeks so I just received it yesterday so I figured I'd just do a couple little tests here seems like it would be fine just for a little foamy park flyers you know something that you don't have X amount of dollars into and I wouldn't use this in my 40 size or anything like that probably not even a 25 for that matter but um, <clears throat> so anyways we're just gonna do a little uh, test with my uh, DSXi here and see see what's up with it so first of all I've got three servos in I think it's uh, elevator elevator ele aileron and my throttle so it has a battery here on the, my AR6200 that I came with the radio it um, it had battery slash bind on it but here it just has battery so I'm just gonna put the bind plug in the let's see if I can get this out of the way I'm gonna put the bind plug in the uh, battery port and I'm just gonna put the battery into the auxiliary one and you can see as soon as I powered it up <clears throat> the light is blinking so it's gonna go and do normal uh, how you would uh, bind your uh, receiver so I'm just gonna put this here and see so you hold your trainer switch and you power it on while holding and you can enter bind mode and the light's still blinking goes out and go solid and once it goes solid you know that you're binded so you can let go of the uh, you can let go of the uh, the trainer switch and I just put this up here is my aileron elevator and throttle so it binds okay it uh, I'm not sure about brownout issues or anything uh, I'm just going to take the bind plug out and I am going to power off the radio put the throttle down I'm just going to add a curiosity power on the radio Okay, now I'm just going to cut the power without turning off the radio. See if it will uh, brown out. Because I've had with my AR6200, I've been just messing around setting up my uh, servo throws and, and whatnot and accidentally powered off and have it brown out. Brown out, I should say. <laughs> so I'm just going to repower it back on here, which now I'm going to put it in the battery port and uh, negative is to the outermost so make sure always your black is on the outside your black wire and takes two to three seconds and it engages I haven't done uh, haven't done any kind of range test here with this um, so I'm just gonna go a few rooms uh, <laughs> down the hallway and just see if I can do a 50 foot range test and see if it, uh, it still works alright I'll be back
Well, that was about 50 to 75 feet through some walls and whatnot, and uh, I'm pretty sure I didn't have any uh, any uh, disturbances or any kind of uh, brownouts, cutouts, whatever you want to call it. Um, now I'm going to do the normal to do a range test. Normally, it uh, Spectrum uh, uh, recommends that you hold the trainer switch while you walk away from your servos to uh, put in a low power state. So I'm just going to keep the uh, trainer held and I'm just going to walk away again. Well, pretty sure it didn't, uh, I was, had my ear open, I could still hear the servos moving. And I still have the trainer buttons held, so. Uh, seems to work okay for me for, for you know, for 25 bucks shipped. I don't know if, if they're counterfeit or if they're factory seconds or if you got some guy that's a disgruntled employee and is wrapping them up himself or doing something, I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> you know. But uh, do say it's made in China, so you know it's got a uh, inspection here when it was done. So I don't really know, but you know I've heard some mixed reviews on on what people they're what they how or how they feel about them or or whatnot. So I'm gonna put it in uh, my flat out foamy and uh, give that a go, and I have a. Uh, a little air hogs titan that I bought at Walmart for 10 bucks that I'm going to put some ailerons and uh, maybe a brushless setup on it maybe just for my uh, my aerial cameras and whatnot but uh, seems to work fine for me so check it out if you want I guess <laughs> that's all I can tell you you know so hope this was a little in informative on, on these little receivers and uh, See you next time.